everyone and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a few weeks since you've seen my face, seeing as my last upload was my favorite records of 2017 video. Little side note, if you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check it out and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Today's video is actually going to be a collab video with the lovely Paige Backstage, a fellow YouTuber who shares a love for vinyl just like I do. Hello friends, it's Paige Backstage and I am over here crashing Sean's channel for the day with him, so let's talk about some vinyl pressings. So for this collab, we decided to do our top 10 favorite pressings and or variants. The catch is, in this video, you're only going to see five of my favorites and five of her favorites. Meaning if you want to see the rest of our list after watching this video, you're going to head to Paige's channel so you can check out the alternate video. I don't know how hard it was for Sean, but I found it very difficult to narrow it down to 10. Um, but we did it. The first record that I chose is one that I've loved for a really long time, but I only just finally got on vinyl this year. And it's like Pacific's Distant Like You Asked. I love these guys. I think they're so talented. I'm done with like a lot of pop punk recently. I just kind of feel like I've grown out of it. But this album, I don't think I'll ever grow out of. I think it's an incredible album. And I'm so excited. They have a new album coming out soon. I can't wait to hear it. But this isn't about that. This is about this vinyl pressing. So can you please appreciate this with me? Look at these colors. It just feels like, it feels like when you were young and you were supposed to do a craft project where you glued like crayons to the top of a canvas and then you melt them and they melt down. I feel like that's what this looks like. Does that make sense? <laughs> I just think it's really cool. I'm a sucker for cool color pressings, things that aren't just like, it's pink. It's like, oh, we melted crayons into our vinyl. I could ramble forever about these and I'm gonna try and get that under control, I promise. And to start off my list, we're gonna talk about bearings and their EP called Nothing Here Is Permanent. This was my favorite EP of last year. Really grew on me really quick. And they made a beautiful pink, white, and yellow smash. Only on the A side, because it's an EP, and it complements the album artwork really well. The next record that I chose was my favorite record of last year, and also my favorite vinyl pressing, maybe ever. And it's Movements Feel Something. This record just blew their EP out of the water. I really liked their EP, but this was just a whole new level for them, I found. I know a lot of people disagree, but like, it's just so good. I actually got two pressings, but I talked about them already on my own channel. The other one was just kind of okay, but this one. I don't even know what to call this type of splatter because it looks like peacock feathers. I just think it's so interesting, and I really like these colors together, especially with the clear. I feel like it really lets the colors pop. I feel like it looks a little bit different from my side because I have the lights over behind the camera, but like I still feel like you're still getting the effect of how cool it is. It's just, you know, it's cooler from over here, I'm sorry. <laughs> and next up we've got my favorite record and will probably be my favorite record for the rest of my life, and that is Take This To Your Grave. I don't even have to tell you how good this record is because you should already know. And I managed to snag this Coke bottle press off some kid on a Facebook merch group who told me, hey, I don't want this in my collection anymore, so you can have it for $40, and he shipped it the next day. Um, I'm currently looking for a mixed blue press, because I know I'll never get my hands on the mixed camo first press, because they're going for like $400, and they're really hard to come across. Well, a boy can dream, I guess. This next pressing has a bit of a story with it. My friend Liz Rogers shared a picture of this pressing on Instagram, and I immediately went and ordered it. I'd never listened to this band before. I had no idea if I would like it or not. I just thought the pressing was so beautiful and I trusted Liz and I took my chances and I do not regret that. It's Grayscale's Adornment. I feel like I look at this pressing and it just makes me happy just looking at it. The album itself kind of goes between really catchy pop punk songs and then like really sad ballads that you kind of feel, like I was going to say this album makes me really happy and then I was like, I feel like that's like mean to some of the songs. As I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm like contemplating which record is my favorite and I just keep kind of hopping between all of them because they're all so beautiful, but, but like, it looks like Rainbow Sherbet and that's probably why it makes me feel so happy because it just reminds me of Baskin Robbins, but I just love it so much. And looking at this makes me think of songs like Let It Rain or Slippin' Away. Like, I just feel like they fit very nicely with this color. I don't know, I just really love this one. And I know I said Movements was my favorite pressing, but like maybe this is? I don't know. 
And moving on, we've got the little angel known as Julian Baker, and this is her EP called Sprain Ankle. This EP is beautiful, as well as every other piece of music she's ever going to write, and I feel like the variant complements the record really well because it's not really a happy record, it's honestly quite depressing, but just because it's depressing doesn't mean it can't be beautiful at the same time. The next pressing I chose is one that I purposefully didn't put in my own video because I felt like my own subscribers would roast me for having um, only one band ever featured on my channel, so I brought it over here. This is The Maine's American Candy. This is one of my all-time favorite albums, and I own three or four pressings of this album because I don't know when to stop. So, this is the first pressing that I got, and so many people ask me about it because apparently it was really hard to get. And I didn't know that. I just kind of lucked into this. It's this really cool tri-color vinyl, and I just, I feel like this is really good for this album. I also have it in Glow in the Dark and Bubblegum Pink. The Bubblegum Pink is cool too because it matches um, the bubblegum, but my hair, calm down guys. I just really like this. This kind of fits like with their suits and everything that they wear on tour for this album. Like when I saw them perform, they did all of American Candy and all of Lovely Little Lonely and they switch suits halfway through, but the suits for this album match with this. And it just, I look at this and I think of them all wearing suits and looking like the Beatles. It makes me happy. And yeah, I'm a little bit biased towards anything the main does, so fight me, I don't care anymore. I will be their number one hype man till I'm in the grave, and then I'll keep going, so. And next up we've got the Bodies of Water EP from one of my favorite bands, and that's Make, Do, and Mend. I really, really like this variant a lot because not a lot of records that I've seen do etching, but um, they did three color variants. They did a white and gray, which is what I have. They did a blue and white and a purple and blue. So as you see, it's just a plain white A side, but then they decided to do etch a gray tree on the B side, and I think it's super fitting to the record. The final record that I picked is this my favorite pressing? Oh God, I don't know. Um, it's Water Park's Double Dare. I'm very torn on this album. The first billion times I listened to it, I loved it. And then I started to get kind of bored. And now their new album, Entertainment, is out. And I've been listening to it all day. And I really like it. And I'm worried I'm going to end up not liking it. But I think, I don't know. But I feel like that's kind of one of the cool things about music is like, it serves you when you need it. And then you like you can grow past it or you can grow into it it's just the way music works so it's like when i got that album it was what i needed and now it's not so now it just doesn't connect with me i don't know music's crazy and so is being alive and human sue me or ignore everything i'm saying and just look at this i love this pressing um i just happened to be online when it went on sale and they were like hey quick we only have a couple of these and i have never moved so fast in my life. And I am like the queen of missing pre-sales and not getting tickets to things and not getting cool things because I'm too slow, but I got this. And that is one of my crowning achievements in life. It's a beautiful pressing. I think when, when it's not in the light, the splatter is more blue and pink, but in the light it just kind of looks, no, actually on camera it looks good. It's just my eyes, that's great. But this is a pressing that I really love. And honestly, looking at it makes me want to listen to Double Dare again, so maybe I do still love it. I don't know, who's to say? And last up for this video, we've got Gates with their LP called Bloom and Breathe. First off, this band is killer. If you've never heard them, they're a post-rock, kind of atmospheric kind of band, signed on Pure Noise. And I'm not surprised if you haven't heard of them before. But I'm a sucker for splatter variants, and this is the double LP on the clear with blue and green splatter variant. Alright guys, and that's going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Huge shout out to Paige. Thank you so much for doing this collab with me. Make sure to go check out her channel and subscribe. She's putting out killer content all the time, especially when it comes to records and our music in general. And until next time, guys, 